Nelson Calaward, and I'm a part of the Good Shepherd Program. I'm Larry, and I'm a part of the Good Shepherd Program. I'm Ann Mills, and I'm part of the Good Shepherd Ministry. I'm Louise Griffin, and I'm a member of the Good Shepherd. My name is Judy Cole, and I'm part of the Good Shepherd Ministry. I'm Chuck Stewart, and I'm a part of the St. Michael's Good Shepherd Ministry. I guess about 10 years ago. I originally got involved maybe seven or eight years ago and I was asked to consider being part of the ministry and looked at the mission statement and thought it was really a great cause because... I personally have a three-legged stool for my own self, which is family, friends, and faith community. Not everybody has all of the legs of that stool, so those of us in a faith community need to make sure that our faith community is strong and loving and caring. The way the Shepherd Ministry is, is designed is there's a chair or a co-chair, and then under the chair and co-chairs um, are other volunteers called regional shepherds. Each of those shepherds has a responsibility for about 20, 25 neighborhood shepherds. And as we receive news from the church, the regional contacts the neighborhood shepherd wherever the news is taking place to say, you know, this is what's happened, please contact them. Shepherds do not have to be able to do everything that's asked of them, but being a good listener and then just being in contact with the people in your neighborhood. Yes, you have a list of, of families and the parents' names, the children's names. Carolyn and I send a letter out to them during Christmas and then again during Easter just to remind them that we're here. And so anytime that there may be uh, a parishioner that goes to the hospital or if someone needs to get connected online, uh, their local shepherd can help them do that. I think it's important because Otherwise, a big church can be so impersonal. It's, it's, it's kind of feeling the love. We help one another by keeping one another informed at what's going on. And on a personal note, I, I can honestly say that the Shepherd Program helped me about, well, it was 12 years ago when one of my children, my son Tom, died in an accident in New York City. and. I found out about it at 4 o'clock in the morning and I think somebody from St. Michael's was at my house within, I don't know, three or four hours. The shepherd of my neighborhood was in touch with me and sat at the house during the funeral. The shepherds, they, they rallied around me and the whole church did too, but it was the shepherds who really, I mean, kind of organized all that stuff you have to help, you know, you just don't even know what you're supposed to be doing and they were all there for me. It showed how this program should work and how it did work and it worked really beautifully at that time. In a nutshell, what the Shepherd program does, it helps people get through good times, like a new baby, and let's just say it, bad times, like an illness or a death. That's our goal. It's little things that have big impact. I just wanted you to know uh, this is, you know, an event that's happened in your neighborhood and please get with them as soon as possible. If you could just maybe take some cookies when you go that first time and, um, and buzz me when, you know, at, at when you get this done. I want to know this has happened. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hang up the phone. The next morning I came into the office and this lady called and she said, is there somebody there named Ann Mills? <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, I'm, I'm Ann Mills. And she said, well, um, you left a message on my phone and she said, but I don't go to St. Michael's Church. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, but 
I was so taken by your story that I went ahead and took those cookies over there. Okay. <laughs>